That's your drink, admittedly, correct? We just got a brand new fresh drink. I got it? Sprite. You got Sprite. I got Sprite. We got those drinks from the Tom Thumb on Bell Lane when we left our house. Did you see anybody messing around with anything up front? Or in yeah, the he back? got really nervous. What'd he do? He was just j jumping all in his pockets and everything. He was He's all in my console, in his pockets, in a console. Did you see him actually throw I've anything? I've seen, seen him take something out of his pocket. I don't know where it went, but I seen him take something out what of his pocket. What was it? Pocket. Something, I don't know. It was something small in his hand that came out of his pocket. And you have no idea where it went? That's when he, when I, he said, we're getting pulled over. That's when I seen him look at what he's doing. He said, we're getting pulled over. I looked okay. up. Do you use ice? No, sir. I you bet you that's what he just pulled out of his pocket. You use Tonight, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the New York Jets taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Well, we have a cold night in the Northeast. A bad evening to be without a parka, but we are set for football at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New York Jets. Here's the punter, Braden Mann, set to do the honors, and we are underway at MetLife Stadium. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Jacksonville's offense trots out here for the first time, and all eyes go right to number 16. Now in his second season as the team's face of the franchise, Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was in high school, one of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational type quarterback. He looks the part. Tall, big arm, surveys the field, and can take off and run when under duress. They'll start out here with a jet sweep, and right away they're going to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Looking to throw on second down. Lawrence, that's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time. Time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by a man who upset the AFC champs in his first career start last year during the regular season. Out of Western Kentucky, here's Mike White. On first down, it's White. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
So a pick six on the first play of the drive, and Charles, we have our first points of the game, making it six to nothing. And while it's only six points in the first quarter, it certainly takes a lot of pressure off of them, doesn't it? They're in the lead, they have control. Now they just want to settle it and play their game and defend that advantage. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. It's a pick up before, and it'll bring up second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Open man here is Conklin. I like the thought process. I like the design, but I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, you've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. Out of the gun, it's White. He'll drop that down to Carter underneath. And he is going to have the Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. On first and ten, it's Carter. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. Chad Muma brings him down on that one defensively. The first down run got five. Here's second and five to throw. White. Throw right side complete to Carter. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he is going to have a Jets first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Here's White. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. He was certainly quick to atone for his early game interception. Instead of making another mistake forcing something, he reset himself and found a lane to pick up the first down. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. The play fake, now white. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but the flag comes out for interference. And now you're set up right on the doorstep of the goal line. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. James Robinson taking it in from a yard out. And the Jets are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. 
Well, the pass interference call on the previous play, that set him up nicely for that one-yard touchdown run. Yeah, they were able to capitalize from a yard out. Plenty of barking from the sideline about the call. Naturally so. But maybe you have to quit barking a little bit and focus on the next play. Their focus wasn't there, and they gave up the touchdown. So what do you think the mindset was there? You can tie it with a PAT here first half. Why go for the lead right now? The old-school mindset says if you have a better team, you just go ahead and continue to try and dominate. There's also a school of thought, if you don't think you're quite as good, you have to try and take advantage of opportunities. And finally, I just think this is analytics coming into the game. Someone saying the more you go for two, the better your chances are of actually getting them. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good, three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play. Yeah. That, too. <laughs> and his throw is incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time, and it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Lawrence to throw. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Lawrence, they'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Straight ahead, ETN. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Looking to throw, Lawrence over the middle, complete. It's Jones, and he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. On second down, a run with ETN, and he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Two yards, good enough for a first. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. A give to ETN running right. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run with ETN. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Going for it, here's ETN. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And the Jets are going to get the football back. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in. And if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high. Because mentally, you're saying, hey, you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up to Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. The white throw going to be caught by Davis. Call it a gain of six on the play. And third and eight now. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Now White. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Robinson. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, 
We'll call this play significant. So first and ten now from the 30. First and ten, it's Robinson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. White looks to throw. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, pulled it in. That one good for 37 yards. Sometimes the one-handed catches are unnecessary, but he was trying to ward off the defender with the other, so maybe there that was just a good play. So that tells you that not only do they imagine those types of catches, they actually work on them with defenders jostling them in order to keep their concentration and haul it in. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to the ground with Robinson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. James Robinson with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Jets have taken the lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll make this a six-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Etienne once more. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now Lawrence to throw. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 11 yards for number 11. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 
And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. A loss of eight that time, and it brings up third down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. On third down, Lawrence. They'll drop that underneath DTN. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. But he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Not too shabby here. This will skip out of bounds at about the 12 yard line. The New York set to take the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. 46 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Robinson with another carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Throwing on second and eight, White. Now this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only did they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way to the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play, he gets the points. But it really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room. It translated into a big play that put points on the board for their team. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. And New York set to take the field. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Wilson getting right back to it after the pick six. Open man is Uzama. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Robinson up the middle. Finding space at the 40. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That good for 19 and a first down. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. They use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. A 
Jet first down, 18 big yards that time. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action, and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. And incomplete on the deep ball. In this situation, it's really tough to figure out how to defend because they have plenty of room to still take deep shots at the end zone as they just did there. Yet at the same time, you've got to be ready for the short throw. In this case, when you see the cue that they're going for the end zone, retreat and make sure you have a way to play forward. Back towards the receiver and have a chance to bat the ball away as they did there. 78 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Now Wilson on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second. And Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Jags grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. What part are they went empty? in the backfield, all receivers out in the pattern, and in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Lawrence will throw. He targets Ingram for another grab. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Lawrence finds his tight end, Ingram. Over 70 yards receiving now for him in this first half alone as he's got a first down on that last catch. That was a round run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And then get this down to around the 47-yard line. The key to any screen play is all in the deception, and that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. A short throw to Ingram, and that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 36. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. On first and 10, it's ETN. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Here's Lawrence. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now Lawrence. And he's got it. Touchdown. Chris Manhurts. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is up to eight. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. New York's offense back out there and set to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The Jets on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This will be third and six. And some room to roam now. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and ten at the 49-yard line. Now this one complete to Corey Davis. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the three. This was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So they take a decent shot, C.D., and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little D.P.I., as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against it. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good work there, holding them out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are back within a couple of the lead. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want free. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Wilson going to throw for it. And this throw will be intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. 
I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he'll get a couple up to the 29. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. After the interception, here's Wilson. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. And what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league, defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right spot as he was there to pick that one off and take it all the way back for a touchdown. Barrios now from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And New York set to take the field. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10. Right at the 30. Back to the air, Wilson after the pick six. It's caught by Davis. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On the give, here's Robinson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that'll feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. On third down, Robinson. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Working with second and five now. They go play action now. Wilson. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. Hand off now to Robinson. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here 
before we get to halftime. Already down two scores. They're going to go for this rather than settle for three. The give to the fullback on the dive. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Surprised at all that they went with a fullback there? Not at all because it harkened back to the days where we watched these games almost in black and white, right? The stocky guy, the strong guy, the powerful guy with leg drive. Give him the football. Touchdown, Jets! The two Wilson, Zach and Garrett team it up there. And the Jets are back within a score. So obviously they will decline the penalty there and the result is six points. As they began this last drive, things weren't exactly looking up for this offense. But after what they just did, putting the ball in the end zone, that took them away from the brink of possibly being knocked out of this game. So line connects on the extra point. And the lead is down to two. Boy, they're down only one score. Still first half. But they're going to line up for the onside kick. And they've got it. They recover. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by D.J. Reed. And the Jets are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. Now Wilson. A throw to the flat for Carter. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On first down, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. This is Wilson on the jet sweep. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 33. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. And he spikes it to stop the clock. And now if they choose, they'll have a chance at maybe a long field goal try here just before the break. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will do it for this first half.
So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. This one has the look of a game that could very well go down to the wire. Just one point separating these two clubs at the break. But they're ready for the second half, and we are too, as we'll kick it right back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Play action. It's Wilson. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Fourth down. Here's Wilson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Jags take over in terrific field position. ETN up the middle, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. Another toe for ETN. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now, Lawrence. Being chased out left. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Trevor Lawrence taking it in from the 20. And the Jaguars have retaken a third quarter lead. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. And he will find the end zone here. And the lead moves up to seven. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass so you spread people out decide to run the football you often find good running lanes and ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. new york ready to go again offensively we have seen a lot of points here in this quarter for us up here in the booth it's been fun to watch the defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads yeah they're going a little bit crazy right now but let's face it all of our friends who play fantasy <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Second and six, just inside the 30. They run. Robinson, and he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. 
I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time, every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. Now it really chips away at your confidence. 132 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. They go play action with Wilson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. On the run, it's Robinson. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now he's going to be very close to a first down. Good running, but looks like he's a yard short. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. They'll run it now with Robinson. Down to about the 22 here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, it's Robinson. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown! Corey Davis, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they... And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. Wilson on the keeper. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Jets are an extra point away from evening this one up. And that's why you have the fullback, Charles. Couldn't get it in the play before with a smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score it. And now it has to warm the hearts of a lot of old-school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. And he will not get there as the try for two is unsuccessful. And they will remain down by a point. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. 
And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So that challenge not successful there, and that's going to cost him the first of his timeouts. Now Lawrence on first down. Looking downfield for Jones. And he's got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. Marvin Jones, 62 yards, as his guys are able to extend their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Extra point try now for Patterson. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So that drive, four plays. And it culminates in a Jags touchdown. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Wilson's throw taken in by Ruckert. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They'll run here with Robinson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On first and 10, it's Robinson. He'll get this to about the 38. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Second down and a run by Robinson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. 178 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. 
Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Second and six. A give up the middle to Carter. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he is going to have a Jets first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Here's Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. To throw on second and six, Wilson. He'll drop this underneath to Carter, and he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he is going to have the Jets first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Wilson. Looking middle, and that's complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Carter straight ahead. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Carter is into the end zone for a Jets touchdown. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. Zerline now for the PAT. And this is now a one-point game. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was Michael Carter who finished it all off with a touchdown run. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdote. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 31-yard line. Wreaking havoc was Nathan Shepard, the D tackle. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Straight ahead, ETN. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. The Jaguars on third. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and 11. Here's Lawrence to throw. 
This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Riley Patterson on. A lot of pressure on this kick. This to get the lead up to four. Patterson's kick is good. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. On a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first and 10, it's Carter. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Carter once more. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. It's a first down following a gain of three. It's amazing how much advice defensive players get on third down. You hear the bench screaming out, watch the draw, watch the screen, watch the pass here. Very rarely do they reference watching the fullback, and he slipped through and picked up a first down. And they're going to speed things up here. On second and seven, Wilson. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. There are two words, and now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Here's a give to Carter. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Another run on second down with Carter. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, 
you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. To throw is Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards the pickup, first down. Play action. Now Wilson. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. So the completion good for just three, and that will bring up second down. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Complete to Jones. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two. Now Lawrence. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Jaguars first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. First and 10, it's ETN. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. They're going to hurry back to the line now. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll find Jones again, complete. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now Lawrence to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Draw play, ETN. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will get the lead up to seven. Patterson's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position. 
but it's not out of reach yet. Okay, being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. So here's Wilson and the Jets down by seven. 2.05 to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw complete there to Moore. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. There's Wilson. And all oh, this is taken in one handed. What a catch! And gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Going to look deep for Wilson. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Now Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing now is Wilson. Oh, that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked up by Tyson Campbell. And the Jags have... Just about sewn up this football game. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Down to a knee for the Jags. Victory seemingly in hand. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see.